My buddy Phil is across the hall from me. Repeat. I'm not sure if you hear him or if you're aware of his I don't face. think you ever shared that with me. You did. <laughs> Were you I, holding out on this? No, this I, look, you never sent those Phil, to me. When, I, no, I told you. I said, I have got clips on the G drive. When I tell you I've got clips on the G drive, this is what I mean, bro. This is what I mean. It all started with a video game. Where are you? Where are you? I'm right Where behind you. you. Oh I'm my right God. behind you. I'm okay. Right behind okay. You. Oh! <laughs> During the 2020 <laughs> pandemic lockdown, I invited my buddy T to join me in Phasmophobia, a heart elevating ghost hunting experience from Kinetic Games. What came next was a fan favorite on my Twitch channel Phasmophobia with the Phil Rossi Scream Team. And sure, we had fun. But as we started to see the end of the pandemic, I got a call from Phil. How would you like to do this for real? And now, here we are. Just two dads living their best life while investigating the afterlife. There's no denying there's paranormal activity present at Bell Grove Plantation, located in King George County, Virginia. But what makes Bell Grove Plantation so haunted? We believe it's a matter of history. Bell Grove Plantation has been standing watch over the Rappahannock for more than 300 years, and in that time, it has witnessed many major historical events in U.S. history. From being the location of England's first colonization efforts in the New World in the late 1600s to the American Revolution and to the American Civil War. Multiple families have called Bell Grove home over those 300 years. So many different lives have passed through Bell Grove Plantation's rooms and halls, lives that have experienced sadness, joy, love, and loss during their time there. The fourth U.S. President, James Madison, was born at Bell Grove. Nellie Conway gave birth to James Madison Jr. in 1751, and it was believed the original property burned to the ground not long after Madison's birth. The original foundation can still be seen on display when you visit Bell Grove Plantation. Almost 100 years after James Madison's birth, and roughly 20 years before the Civil War, Carolinas Turner purchased Bell Grove Plantation for the sum of $11,000, and it was Carolinas Turner who was responsible for the structure that we see today. During the American Civil War, the area would see battle and bloodshed. In 1862, Union forces occupied Fredericksburg to the north of Port Conway, where Bell Grove Plantation is located, and the river there saw some serious engagements. Notably, in December of 1862, four Union gunboats were sent to the area, and these gunboats shelled the town in order to divert attention from the Union-held Fredericksburg. The attack lasted two days. 1863 would see even more fighting. It's hard not to wonder what the Turner family saw during this time of national upheaval. The emotions they experienced must have been staggering. The property was even involved in the chase and arrest of John Wilkes Booth after the Lincoln assassination. Four more families would pass through Bell Grove Plantation over the next century until it was purchased from the Hooker family by the Austrian-based Haas Corporation in 1987. By that time, Bell Grove had fallen into disrepair. Fortunately, the Haas Corporation arrived just in time and restored the property to its former glory. In 2011, Michelle and Brett Darnell came to Bell Grove and there they established their bed and breakfast. Not surprisingly, the moment Michelle set foot on the property back in 2011, 
she became immediately aware of the paranormal significance of the site. We've made it. We've made it to the couch with our first pilot episode. And as this is a work in progress, we're going to try this format to see if it works. Also, this was the first investigation. This, this was, was the first this investigation. Was. Now, you had already at this point had done EVP work. Yeah, so uh, at this point, I had already been out to Ball's Bluff uh, Battlefield several times, which is where you know, I got a taste for it. Right. Uh, after doing a number of episodes for Don't Turn Around, I got the itch and picked up a couple devices, the spirit box, a K2, and a digital recorder I already had, the H4. And that's, I think we should also mention that too. Uh, so this was our first investigation. We went in armed with, and run that run that list down again. There was the spirit box. We had the spirit box. The we K2. The K2. Right. We had the H4. Right. Uh, one other smaller digital recorder that I had. Right. And I had my H4. You had your H4. I had the first camera that I got, it was uh, it was the cheap camera. R.I.P. W- w- <laughs> I don't, don't R.I.P. that camera after Crescent. I, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we yeah. talk about that. Uh, the Flux 2, which we have named Simon, mm-hmm. because it has that, that video game Simon kind of feel to it. Right. And I think that was it. That's what I think is, uh, is also important to, to, to spotlight, is that we've got, um, along with our co-hosts, we've got, uh, <laughs> we've, we've, we've got this, um, uh, this this great starter package for investigators. That's I think that sums it up perfectly. Yeah. Because now, even looking back at the footage, oh yeah, the way we were eased into it was just right for where we were. Stars yeah. in our eyes. Oh and, yeah. Oh yeah. And really not knowing now, much other than what we've seen on TV. Now the, the the our host for the first part of that investigation that was uh, Mr. John, John Sullivan. John uh, Sullivan. Right. Fredericksburg Paranormal Research and Investigations. And that's a mouthful. Yes. <laughs> he even he, said that. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, he, he, said, he said we really should have thought that yeah. through when we yeah. did that. But uh, but John was fantastic working with us. I, I feel like I have to preface this by saying this. Uh, originally I was going to have a clip of me driving out there and basically saying if I walk away with one EVP, I'll be happy. Unfortunately, when I said that, that was when the signal dropped out. So, oh, you're kidding yeah. me. Oh, you're so, kidding so me. unfortunately, you don't hear it. But I remember saying that. I remember saying, if I could walk away with one EVP, I'd be happy. Now, do we lead in, though, with that story of how our first investigation began? I, you know, I don't think we have to. I don't think we have to because we covered it. We covered that on... We covered that on Don't Turn Around. Yes, we did. So, so you know, go, go, go listen. Yeah, yeah, we can listen to that. You and John are in the other room. We actually hear you in the other room. You guys are setting up something. Mm-hmm. I'm wandering around with this brand new camera going, how does this work? And this is what happened. Wow. Okay. It'll, it'll do that, gotcha. You're, th- that, that was that was John explaining how the Our audio yeah. uh, trigger, how the audio motion triggers work. Yeah, yeah. And then this happens. Is there anybody in here right now? And I don't hear a thing. I'm new at this, so go gently on me. I heard nothing at that. Point. Yeah, I heard nothing at that point. Now you can hear the music box is going. I didn't hear that one either. I didn't hear that one either. So I wanted I wanted one EVP, and within the first five minutes of being there, well, you got two. It was a two for one, and two for one. <laughs> apparently it was a two for one. Yeah. But now here's what I now I've I've actually um, I, I wanted to play this whole clip so I could show you the way I started approaching things, and while this is kind of innocuous, this was like my first lesson. Yeah. In paranormal investigation, I, I I'm looking in the window, and you can see, I'm like, is that an orb? Is that an orb? <laughs> but we'll, we'll 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 go on ahead and we'll we'll, we'll talk about this. Like, what is that? Okay, I'm seeing something right. 
that are coming right outside the window, but I'm not sure if it's my, uh, uh, if it's my, um, we were so we were so unknowing in some ways, you know. And, and uh, but that was where that was that was where I started the the art of debunking. Because I'm watching this clip, I'm watching this clip, and I'm convinced there is some glowing orb out in the uh, out 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 in the uh, in the property. And it turns out that it's the infrared emitter because I did not realize that infrared emitters. You know, when you look at them, they're just dim little red right. lights. I didn't realize that they would glare that hard oh, on yeah. the glass. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. So that's my first... Valuable lesson. That was my first valuable, valuable lesson. lesson. That still does not change the fact that I picked up two EVPs within my first five minutes of paranormal investigation, no. which to me, I feel like is a feather in the cap. So that's where I was. I was downstairs. Now, the, now the, 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 the architecture of this place is that there's a downstairs and then there was an upstairs. Right. There was now, a small you were, upstairs area. Correct. Right. And you were upstairs. So I was upstairs and again, At this time. getting the lay of the land. Right. And I specifically wanted to go upstairs because when we had been there in April, setting foot at the bottom of the stairs, I just... Again, just got a vibe there. Right. From something... Upstairs. So, right. as I mentioned to you at the time, I was eager to get upstairs and just see what even is right upstairs. And I'm walking around with my camera. I don't think I was even saying much up there. I was mm -hmm. just scoping it out. And interestingly enough, I caught something very similar. Even even in even in the the the, the timber and the sound of the voice right. sounds very close to what you had captured. Downstairs. Okay. Wow, that is similar. That is the first time I've seen Similar, this. and if you listen really closely too, you can almost hear a breath sound in there. Where you see that, that that uh, doorway, that that bright doorway from where you were shooting. Right. There's the the downstairs is there, and then there's a cupboard. There's the there's the landing, and then there's the room you're in. Right. I come and join you a little later, and I pick this up. It is stifling up here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, I had, I, 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 I had, meant to ask you. I had forgotten about that. <laughs> I had honestly <laughs> forgotten about that. Had you I had you mentioned your name at that point? I hadn't mentioned my name. Mm -hmm. uh, the the only time my name was mentioned in there was when you were talking to me. Maybe maybe before that moment, but I hadn't come up there. I hadn't said, "Hey, I'm Phil. Right. I'm here to connect with you." So so yeah, I yeah. had a set of words. <laughs> And it's, Sorry about that. <laughs> and it's funny, I had forgotten about that clip. And it's... Well, there's more. Yeah. There's more. It is. And I just talked right over that one so you can come yeah. back on. Yep. Again, you can hear them. They, enough that comes through clear. Okay. The others are, are, are subtle. Bill, did you ask any questions in here? It has a green... It has a greeny texture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But... Man, that fill jumps right out though, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It pops. And there's another one. There, there's another, it almost sounds like a whisper. Did you want to tell us? And then, but then after you hear that graininess, you hear what sound like rushes of air. Yeah. And then I hear that. Enough. Is there anything you want people to know? Floor. Hand. Hand. I have a device downstairs. If you uh, decide you want to say hi, you can go on ahead and set that off. It's by the stairs. My name is T, by the way. You can call me T. 
What's your name? My buddy Phil is across the hall from me. Repeat. I'm not sure if you hear him or if you're aware. Of his I don't name. think you ever shared that with me. You did. <laughs> Were you I, holding out on this? No, this I, you look, never sent those Phil, to me. When, I, no, I told you. I said I have got clips on the G drive. When I tell you I've got clips on the G drive, this is what I mean, bro. This is what I mean. Blame it on buffering. It was buffering. Okay, like, I, thought, I, was I thought it was over. It was buffering. It was buffering. I thought it was over. <laughs> okay, yeah. we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna back this clip. We're gonna back this clip up. Okay. That's gonna be one of our. We're, we're gonna we're we're gonna make that into a T-shirt. Back this clip up. <laughs> <laughs> but what I, I do think I do think what, what's important is that you do hear the silence. So you shaming, hear the shaming silence. me is not what's important. No, no, shaming no, me. No, that 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 factors into this. Okay. Now that I realize this, you're watching this for the first time. You're gonna love what ha what happens after whatever's there says come sit. So let's start from the beginning. <laughs> it's a family show. Family show. Okay, Phil, did you ask any questions in here? Now that's just a cluttering right. from downstairs. It sounds like there's something right there, too. Yeah. Did you want to tell us your story tonight? I could have picked up the breeze, and then enough. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want people to know? That's me. So I have a device downstairs. If you uh, decide you want to say hi, you can go on ahead and set that off. It's by the stairs. My name is T, by the way. You can call me T. What's your name? My buddy Phil is across the hall from me. I'm not sure if you hear him or if you're aware of that he's there. Would it be all right if I had a seat? <laughs> mm-hmm. Holy crap. Wow. <laughs> buffering, friends. Buffering. Okay. But, okay. You know, that, that's going to be your that's gonna, if that's going to be your fallback point. Yeah. That's going to be your fallback point. However, the next time, the next time I post something in the G drive and you go, "Oh yeah, I'll get to it right away." I know you're not seeing it until we until we finally film this stuff. Although, that's isn't isn't there is there a, a simple beauty in my my pure I'm going to punch you. Re I'm just going to punch you. Reaction. I'm just going to punch you. <laughs> those clear words you, artifacts don't sound like words right they just sound like beeping at least I, at least I'll, I'll qualify that i've never heard unless you speak droid yeah unless you speak droid <laughs> and i've never heard a heard a noise removal or compression artifact that's right sounded like a like a word so Is that all right do what? what that that last all right yeah yeah was all right freaking loud and clear but i but and again you hear mm -hmm. nothing. That all right was as loud as you were speaking, if not a little bit louder. And yet, I, you heard and yet I didn't hear. Mm -hmm. I did, especially. Well, and then said you heard it say "come sit," and I go, "Hey, mind if I have a seat?" <laughs> I mean, I I don't know if that was a subconscious reaction. It could to, have been. It could have been. I mean, there's I like a lot of concept. speculation at this point. You know, I also <clears throat> I also think though, <clears throat> and again, I'll have to listen listen 
to it through headphones, but the gravelly well, watch my damn clips voice that we caught there. earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? The what one, was that, Phil? <laughs> one that I pointed out that had that um, you buffer one time. <laughs> <laughs> so later on, uh, and when I mean later on, maybe five or ten minutes later, um, this happens, and the distant future, the distant, five minutes from now, yeah, five minutes from now, and and this happens, and uh, this was again. It's one of those things where I, th I feel like you have to, you almost have to trust what's happening in the space. When, cause, cause you do feel that. that. Not just trusting the space, but trusting yourself. Mm -hmm. When I was, yeah. when I was by myself in the room, and then when I was, you know, here upstairs about to show this clip, I, I was talking and getting nothing in response. And, and it's that silence. It makes you almost feel like, am I, really wasting my time. And then I guess the question is, how do you get over that? And for me, if someone were to ask that, mm -hmm. I would say for me, it is trusting the space and going, I won't really know until after I get home and I really sit down because this happened. This is for science. This is for science. That's some sexy ass science right there. <laughs> Let's switch. Let's switch. Here, I'll pass on to you. Oh, and in this clip, you can hear the hum. Yeah. Because I didn't take the hum out this time. This is going in the archives. Okay, maybe. Or either that or the boot. The boot. The boot. My dancing, did it offend you? If you put on the headphones, yeah. you hear that. You hear that, yes. Yeah. And <laughs> we were dancing because we were trying to test the, the range of, the, of that motion oh, the sensor. the motion sensor in the back. The, yeah. the, the range of the motion right. sensor. Right. So that's where the dancing began. And then we just kind of kept going. And then it. we just kept going with it that. felt so damn good. Yeah, it did. It did. We, we, we danced like nobody was watching, but turns out somebody was. Yeah. Um, and that's what, again, what I mean by when you, when you do your first investigation, I mean, this, I, 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 I'm starting to feel like this episode is becoming less about Belgrove and more about that first investigation. Yeah, and and I think where where I, where I think the, the the takeaway here is that you are going to feel foolish, even even if it's testing testing the the, the distance of a sensor. Well, I didn't feel foolish dancing, I, and I, you clearly didn't either. I did not either, but I mean, it was also <laughs> because it's funny that part doesn't make you feel. Foolish. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, and yet, we're 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 throwing questions out into the ether. You know, yeah. we're 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 getting silence yeah. in return. But again, I heard nothing until I was going, and this is. We're, we're barely at this point, because as you can see, the sun had set. Yeah. The sun had set by then, and it was dark. Yeah. I want to say we had been there maybe half an hour, and already I'm up to how many EVPs? I think, yeah. it, I think, at, that, I think at this point I, we have documented at least eight. Yeah. And, I, I mean... Quite a few. But, but, but again, I have not heard of any of these until after we got back from the investigation, and then I'm like... And I remember Pip actually walked into my office and she said, how is it? And I told her how many I'd found and she was like, already? And I said, yeah, and I've got hours ahead of me. Yeah. You might come home from an investigation and not hear anything yeah. on your recording. And I'm ridiculously spoiled in the sense that I haven't experienced that yet. We pretty much had the, the, the lay of the land for that first hour, uh, hour two hours. And yeah. then we were joined by three women and then they stayed with us for the latter half. Right, right. Um, I think it was yeah. about 90 minutes or two hours, yeah. maybe. Uh, it it was it, yeah. The, so, so when you get the paranormal package at Belgrove, you can either get the extended package where you get all four hours you do set up and mm -hmm. that's it. John was very thorough. John was very thorough on all the different things that he well, was showing. Well, it was nice, exactly. He yeah. described the devices to us. Yep. Again, I cannot recommend Belgrove highly enough. For if you want to see if this is something you're interested in, right, it's right. a it's a great spot. We were playing around with music, and obviously for DMCA rights, we cannot play said music. But I will go on ahead and set up this clip. Yeah, um, the clip. That's a really good point. Yeah. <laughs> <Our entire. laughs> 
Dodge that hey, bullet. Hey, <laughs> hey. That's what you did. Writer of podcasting yeah. for dummies and Twitch for dummies, yeah. baby. I know what I'm talking yeah. about here. But what we do is we played a clip of music. And while we can't play you the clip of music itself, we can play you the response. Mm -hmm. So, what'd you think? So without what, hesitation. Without hesitation. And here was the thing that we found out. One of the women, without telling anybody, <laughs> had right. on her phone an Ovulus app. Yeah, so there's several there's several apps out there that you can download from uh, all the app stores that are basically are ITC apps. Right. So it's um, basically a communications app similar in philosophy to say the spirit box or the ovulus right. uh, where basically it's an electronic means for letting a spirit's voice come through. Yeah. Uh, there's quite a few apps out there, some more reputable than others. Exactly. Uh, and without knowing how good or how of entertainment value these apps were, she had hers running. Right. And the response was there, and I'm very skeptical of the Ovulus app. Right. Let, me, let me go ahead and back up the clip. You're gonna listen to this, and we're just gonna play it all the way through, and then we're gonna play the other instances as well, and then put it all together, so. So, what'd you think? That's good, you're saying that. Okay, it looked like we're stopping around. Camera? Mm -hmm. Looks like it would have been a response after yours and yours. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Devil, camera, and phone. I'm playing music off my phone. Right. And I come out and I start playing this. And the minute it stops, I said, what do you think? It says devil. When it said camera, you hear that whisper. Afterwards, it was the woman tapping me, telling me, you're messing with your video camera. Because yeah. I was switching yeah. batteries at the time. And you were struggling a little bit too. And I was struggling a little bit. And then finally, when it starts playing this again, that's when you hear the obvious go off the third. And the last time in the evening, and it says phone. I don't think whatever was there was talking about the music. I think it was talking about music. It's talking about you. Yeah. It's and he, and here's, here's the thing, too. Some of these apps will go off nonstop. Right, right, right. Which makes, makes them question. Which makes, them make, make, makes them question. This was the only three times this app had fired off then. The entire Tired evening. The evening. entire evening. So it's a, one of my favorite words in talking about this type of activity. It's compelling. Yeah. It's compelling. Yeah, that's a that's a, that's a good buzzword uh, for Phil and for me mm -hmm. and for me. Mm -hmm. Compelling mm -hmm. is one. Uh, oh, intriguing, intriguing. Yeah. You know the, the way the way the way uh, Mr. Spock would say fascinating. Yeah, if, we we say compelling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think that is some validity right there? That devil camera and phone were not about what was happening there or about the music. Whatever was there was using the obvious space to go, this guy. I have a problem with this guy. Yeah, I mean, it's, again, it is compelling. <laughs> <laughs> you got to arch the eyebrow when you say it. Compelling. <laughs> compelling. compelling. <laughs> it was too spot on, coincidental. too frequently to too, be coincidental. Yeah, yeah, Once, yeah. then yeah. But three <clears> times <throat> directly... It makes me Three times a poltergeist, yeah, yeah. and I love yeah, you. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't mean, DMCA again. us for that, please. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right. So this next clip, as the evening went on, while we weren't getting a lot of activity off the flashlights, right? We were getting increasingly more activity the off the box. other various the, devices, the music box. Yeah, especially yeah. the music box, which earlier in the night started off with very short bursts. And then as the night went on, it was playing for longer yeah. and longer. Yeah, 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 yeah. And at one point I just, and the, the music box was positioned upstairs. Yes, we did. So at this point in the night, we're hearing movement. The music box is going off and I said, 
I'm going up there. I'm ready to level up. I'm going upstairs. And so I, it's, it's very dark, which is kind of uh, illustrates how dark it was upstairs. So you're going to basically only see the light at the foot of the stairs. So it's dark, as dark can be. I was, I was not only proud of you, I was terrified. <laughs> I'm going to come upstairs. Ignore the beeping sounds. That's you setting off the setting off the Simon. I figure I can come upstairs and you can play the music for me while I'm up here. Now I'm gonna turn the music on when I come up here because I'm gonna walk by it. That red light's the music box. Right. But then I'm gonna stand behind the music box. And, and that green it. light is downstairs. Correct. <laughs> Okay. I've never seen this. Before. So it's just me up here. I shared this with you. There's buffering. Shame on you. There's buffering. Can you make that music box play music again? Are you still up here with me? No. That is great. So now you can hear when I say that is great, you can hear my breath is taken away a little bit. Yeah. But yeah. here's what here's what you don't hear or see on the video. I just I felt this sense that there was someone standing on just the other side of the doorway opposite of the music box. I, right. I, I swear up and down that it felt like someone was standing in there. And then I ask, Are, is anyone still up here with me? And it felt like someone just moved right into the room and then that's when the music box went off. Now again, that part of it is very subjective, but I will vividly remember this moment. Right, right. Let's, uh, let's, let's replay that, mm -hmm. let's replay that. Are you still up here with me? It's about five, that six second gap. Great. Thank you for letting me know that you're here. I haven't watched this whole clip because it was buffering. Oh, I see. Oh, the <laughs> damn buffering, man. The damn buffering. It gets you every time. I think, I think the clip has this length because I was getting more and more overwhelmed up here? as I was up there. And I kept recording as I went back downstairs. Right. I wasn't up there for a whole seven minutes, I don't no. think. Felt like you were up there for a long time, though. My takeaway from the whole Belgrove experience was that it was, again, you know, the right investigation experience for us to for the cut our teeth yeah. on for mm -hmm. the first time. If you're really interested in trying this, don't you know, don't jump the shark. Find <laughs> find your find your bell grove. For first time, it was a it was a place where it didn't feel overly intense. Mm -hmm. It actually felt it felt welcoming, yeah. even though we got a couple of get outs. Yeah. I did not walk away from from Belgrove saying, I've, I, I have discovered ghosts or I have proof that the afterlife exists. I, 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 you know, even at this point, we haven't done that. No. But have we had incredible experiences with things that we cannot explain? Absolutely. Oh my God, absolutely. 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 And, and just that statement alone <laughs> gave me the chills. Because yeah. when you really, really... It's, it's easy to get caught up in the excitement of mm -hmm. it. It's easy to yeah. get caught up in the gadgets. But when you stop and pause and realize that you are connecting with something that you cannot explain or rationalize, or rationalize or, yeah. but in a way where you walk away something and you can hit play on a, on yeah. a device and, and actually relive it. relive it. Relive it, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, and and, and that's and, but I would say that, that Belgrove is a great beginner's investigation mm -hmm. um, because you had you had uh, you had access to a property mm -hmm. you had consent from the people who mm -hmm. owned said property mm -hmm. or who ran said property mm -hmm. and and it was not uh, it was a place that had 
a, a touch of malice. Mm -hmm. Do we think the place is haunted? We've been there, and we can we can say we can say you haunted. haunted. All I wanted to do after Belgrade, especially after making the time, and that's the other thing I would say is the other takeaway is I didn't I, I allocated time for the actual investigation, but the investigation doesn't stop when you leave the property. You've got all the evidence to go through. Yeah. And again, that's the other takeaway that I took from it was it's like, okay, I'm not hearing anything right now. I'm not seeing anything right now. That doesn't mean I didn't capture something. Right. And and that's where you have to have a little bit of grit and a little bit of determination and say, we're gonna we're gonna get to this investigation. We're gonna get through all this in evidence. I'm not gonna rush it. I'm gonna just take my time with it. But let's find out if you walk away with one thing. Right. And of course, we walked away with a. Yeah. For a beginner, for a beginner's outing, I thought we walked away with a treasure trove. And, and, I, and I will, I will say this in closing the wrap up that if you go into an investigation without expectations and with intention of going and having just that experience and just being in that place, then you are going to walk away with something. You're going to walk yeah. away with an incredible experience. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, so that's where we're going to wrap up this pilot episode, our, our first outing with Old Spirits. We hope you enjoyed yourselves. Uh, by all means, if you enjoyed the content, go on ahead and please tell a friend and make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure notifications are enabled so that you know when we put up something new. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the field.